So, this is a little bit of a weird situation that's going on right now. Ah, let's take these off. So in the end of the spring and the beginning of summer, I decided to buy this one. It's a Nikon EM film camera. I did it because I always liked the old school type of film. Uh, I like the concept of vintage black and white photos. So I went through all the drift stores in town to see if I can find a fairly cheap one. At a good price, I got this one. Because I wanted to try something. I wanted to try something new. I want to see if this was something for me because I like the style of the photos. So I got this one to try out and see if I actually could take pictures without knowing how they would look. <laughs> So I got this camera, I order film, the film arrives, and I plan out a whole video about it. I wanted to do something special around this. I was betting on this camera to work. It was more a 50-50 chance if the photos actually turn out something. But I had a whole video planned out. I shoot up the roll. I have the first roll. I buy a black and white roll, pretty cheap one, L4, 400 ISO, plain black and white, just to see if the camera works and make a video about it. I hope you can hear me well. Uh, there's a stream just a few meters behind the camera. I get the film, I load the camera, and I shoot the 36 exposures. Go to the store, the guy there tells me because it's black and white, it will probably take a month. He needs to ship it to a place in the south of Sweden because it's black and white. They ship it to Germany, so it will probably take a month. I was like, okay, let it take a month, doesn't matter. I have this awesome video planned out, so let it, it will be awesome. It will be awesome. So after about a month, I heard nuts. So I decided to go there and see if I heard anything or if the film is already there or he forgot to text me. Nothing. He haven't heard anything. He said it usually takes a month. And I was like, yeah, maybe a week. It will probably take a week or something. Just around that time, you know how you have, you find role models. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you find role models. And as a photographer, if someone pick up the camera for the first time, they go to YouTube, they Google photography basics. Who shows up? Peter McKinnon. Him and a lot of other Canadian photographers have been like the people I've been looking up to, the people I've been following from the beginning. Around the same time, a month into my long waiting for a film, what does Peter McKinnon do? He drops a video about film photography. Apparently, he's, apparently he started to get into that as well. No biggie, I made my video. I started to realize film photography is really cool. The only problem now is that it looks like I'm copying shit. And that's the weird part. That's the awkward realization. No one told me that, but it's just the feeling I get that it looks like I'm copying him. Ah. So it takes one more month before the film arrives. It takes maybe a week before I get the video uploaded. And by then, I think Peter McKinnon dropped one or two more videos about film photography. So it looks even more like, oh, I looked at this guy, now I'm w into film photography. And that would probably be the case if I watched those videos beforehand and I decided, oh, I wanna try this out and now I'm all sucked into it. I ordered a bunch of film, but that's not the case. Uh, not this time, at least. Of course, I look up to him and appears to be a very nice guy. I love Canadians. They're such a good people. They're so friendly. I remember when I was in Canada, I bumped into a guy at the entrance to a store. It was my fault, totally. And the guy apologized to me for no reason. 
I walked into him and he turns around and like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, eh? If you ever have the thought to comment, oh, this guy is just copying Peter McKinnon, don't, don't do it. I received that I bought my camera, I ordered film way before he uploaded any videos about film photography. So don't try anything, don't try it. Bringing this out, it's black and white because that's the type of film I like. I need to find a better way to develop them. It can't take two months to get the film back. I have another roll that I'm waiting for. Still ha hasn't heard anything. I don't know where this video is going. I filled up the camera. I don't know if it's a perfect light for film today. Pretty harsh light. We'll see. I, I walked through the woods a little bit and took some photos. Hopefully, I could get something good from it. Overexposed, underexposed, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I need to find a better way to develop it. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. I know I like making it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and go take a look at my first ever roll of film. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Hora.